Hey guys, Afy here, and today we are going to be adding first person camera movement to our camera class. So what first person is, is you can move with the WASD keys, you can move around with your mouse, and uh, it's, it's first person. Just imagine yourself looking through your own eyeballs, and that's what first person is. So now we're just going to go to camera class, and we're going to add a new function. We're just going to call this uh, update, so public void update. It's going to take in the window class so we can do input. So after we do that, we need to go here and uh, import window. So now that we have that, uh, we can go to main and actually call it after we uh, load the camera or before we load the camera. And so uh, also, just so you know, uh, I have added new functions to the window class, which would, is called lock and unlock mouse and so what I, I did this so uh, the mouse is so glitchy when we uh, move our mouse to move the camera so we go to window I'll just show you what to type so here are the two functions they're basically the same thing and so the first lock is public void lock mouse and it sets the input mode for the cursor to be disabled and disabled means that you don't see it and you can't like you can't move it but it's still there. So, and then unlock is just setting it to normal, like how you see it right now. So, uh, now we're going to go to our camera class after we've called it in the main class, which I think I didn't do. So, update. And it takes a window class. So, <laughs> so there we go. Uh, it, what do you mean? camera oh I didn't save it okay okay it's all fixed okay so now in the camera class we're gonna do some uh, mouse rotation first so uh, I added some new functions in the matrix which I told him talked about uh, in the last video when I did view matrix which is called uh, rotate around when so that's is how we're gonna rotate so there was a little error that I made in the camera class in here and it's just the way that you uh, multiply these matrices so it has to go in this specific order it has to be rotate x dot multiply rotate z dot multiply and then rotate y multiply and then actually not multiply and that's it and it has to be in this specific order or you'll get some weird rotation and you don't want that so now we're actually going to go to our update and we are going to use the window class to get some input so the first thing we need to do is we need to get the difference between the frames X and Y. So we need to set some variables up here. So we need to do public void, not void, float old mouse X, old mouse Y, new mouse X, new mouse Y. So we can calculate the difference between this and then move the we we'll rotate the camera accordingly. So now that we got this, we can go down here. And we also need another variable called mouse sensitivity. Sensitivity. And I'm going to set these all to zero except for mouse sensitivity, which I'm going to set to this specific amount. <laughs> because that is w around 1.6, which is like the perfect mouse sensitivity for my mouse. You can adjust the values, values for how sensitive your mouse is, but... Uh, for me, it's perfect for 0 0.15. So I'm going to set these all to 0. I'm going to go back to update. And I'm going to set the new mouse y, mouse y to equal window dot get uh, uh, mouse y. And then I'm going to set the new mouse x to the same thing except for the x value. So window dot get mouse x and then we have to uh, add a cast to float because uh, floats are better for this case because we don't have to be so specific and so now that we have that we can actually find the difference of var not var and so use javascript it float di difference in y which is dy is new mouse x minus old mouse x Wait, that's X. Okay, so 
So now we're going to do float dy for difference y, and that's just going to be for the y values instead of the x. So new mouse y minus old mouse y. And so now that we have that, we need to set the old mouse to a new mouse. So old mouse x is equal to new mouse x, and old mouse y is equal to old, not old, new mouse y. So basically what we're doing is we're finding the difference between the old position, which is old mouse x and old mouse y, and the new position, and we're going to use that to rotate our camera, like I said earlier. So after we get this, we're going to do this dot add rotation, and we're going to do x, y, z. And so the x, which is a bit weird, the x is rotating the up and down, so pretend like it's a nod, it goes up and down. So we have to use uh, dy there, so dy times mass sensitivity, so you can adjust accordingly. Uh, I don't know how I spelled it, so I'm just going to take it from up here and just copy and paste it. And then for y, it's uh, left and right, and that is like shaking your head no. So that would be the x value, so you need to do dx times mass sensitivity. And for z, we're going to do 0 because we don't have an extra uh, rotation for that. So if we save this and uh, we run it, we should have a rotating cube. Yeah, so, oop, OBS. So, oh, crap, it's backwards. Okay, so since this is a camera, uh, you need to make this backwards. So we actually need to do uh, that. Because a camera and how it turns the world the other way, like we did for the negative position, we have to rotate it the opposite way. So now that we have this, it should rotate the correct way. Yeah, there we go. And I'm just going to get rid of the uh, entity because that's distracting. So here, I also added this so we can escape, you know, lock it so we can rotate correctly and then unlock it. So this is what you do. But after you create it, you just say window.lock mouse. And then, and then when you press the escape key, you just unlock the mouse. So just look at that. You don't have to have it if you, you can be like escape got window dot stop or something like that. So uh, now that we can go to camera, we need to add the movement. So we need to go here and we need to say if if window dot is key down. I'm going to say glfw dot glfw key w. Then we need to add position. So we need to add a specific position. We need to import glfw because it's relative to the y rotation. So I'm going to show you how we do it normally and what's the issues with it. So uh, we just do position or this dot add position uh, zero zero uh, uh, move speed which I'm gonna set that equal to uh, 0 0.05 up here so we're gonna set that as another line for different things so float uh, move speed and that's gonna be equal to 0 0.05 so now that we have that, we can change it and it'll be a lot better. So I'm going to copy this for faster uh, times. So we got S and then we got D and then we got A and then we got space and then uh, shift. So we need S here, D here, A here. We need space here and we need left shift because the left shift's closer to your pinky. And so we need to actually move you to uh, here, set that equal to zero. This to here, set that equal to zero, but negative move speed. And then this is for the Y, oh, negative. So we need to do that and then move speed zero. 
There we go. So, if we do it normally, if we're facing straight on, it should look good. So, I'll show you. Okay, there we go. If we're doing that, see, it looks good. Like, first, it looks good. Like, you're going back, you're going forward. Yeah, it's going good. But if you rotate to the side, and you press forward, you're, you're going to go to the right. It's because it's not relative to your Y movement. Because it's fine here, but when you turn to the left 90 degrees, it's not going to notice that you turn left, and it's still going to pretend like forward is the forward when you're not looking 90 degrees to the left. So we need to change this to where it's relative to the Y rotation, so it moves forward when you need to move forward. Because right now, I'm pressing A to move forward and D to move back when it should be W and S, which I'm pressing right now. So I'm going to exit out of that, and I'm going to add that. So we're going to keep this this dot out of position, but we're going to change what's in here. So the first thing we need to add is we need to add uh, some sine and cosine to the X and Z because the X and Z is what's changing the how we move. So the X, the X for the W should be a negative. So we need to do negative in parentheses uh, math dot sine. And then we need to do if we can load math dot sign rotation dot get and then uh, y and so this also has to be to radian so math dot to oops math dot to radians it's a bit slow for some reason and then we put that in there and then set because it's such a small value, because I don't know why, uh, we have, okay, 3 there, 3 there. We need to multiply all this, I'm going to say negative mood speed. Oh, it has to be float. Float, math that sign, that's that 2 radians. And then, after we do all that, Okay, that's to that, that's to that, and that is, okay, wait, that is to that, okay, and then we just multiply by move speed, but negative move speed, because, actually, no, but yeah, this is negative, and then after we do that, we need to say this to this to the Z, but instead of uh, saying uh, sine, we're going to say cosine. And so now we can copy and paste this to the others and just do some changing. So this is for that. This is for that. This is for that. Oops. Go down here. Put that there. So, here's the differences between them. So, we need to do, uh, that's going to be, these need to not have a negative, so we can just go here and get rid of the negative. But the DNA keys, we need to uh, offset them by 90 degrees because, like I said, straightforward is 0 degrees to the left or to the right is 90 or negative 90. So we need to offset the rotation by 90 degrees, and we just subtract 90 from that on both ones. 90, 90. So now that we have that, uh, it's pretty simple. All we need to do is uh, positive. So it's going to be positive move speed. And this is going to be negative move speed. And then the same situation here. Positive, negative. And that should be the movement correct. We don't need to do anything to this because the space in the left shift is not relative to the Y. So if we do this, we stare at this, we should move left or left, right and left. We can move up and down, we can move forward or backward. But if we turn to the left... We can now move backwards and forward correctly. 
Right now, I'm pressing the W and S keys. A, D, W, S, up, <laughs> up, down. And if I move to the back, like I can rotate around this, so you should know if you, it works if you can rotate around it. So that's first person movement for you. So the next tour will be third person, and third person is basically you're up here, and you're using the mouse to move around, and you need a target entity, which would be our cube right here, but we're going to add both of these to it so you can have some options. So this will be it for the tutorial, uh, and I'll see you whenever I can upload, so bye!